Now to ring announcer, Ray Flores. At two minutes, six seconds of the sixth round for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Errol, the Truth Spence Jr. So, Errol Spence Jr., we're going to get his trainer, Derek James, the former pro. Errol is with our Dave Briggs. Dave. Thank you, Kenny Errol. Congratulations. You said you didn't come here to win. You came here to put on a spectacular one-sided performance. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, yes, sir. I was going for the knockout. I'm fighting on NBC, primetime, and I want to put on a great performance in front of these beautiful fans. It was a match where he came out strong, tried to make that opening statement. Did you sense that the tide was turning in that fifth and into the sixth? Um, definitely. Um, he's awkward. He's very awkward, and it came out switching. And um, it took me it took me a little bit of uh, a time to get together. But when I got together, start using my jab and start filling them out, I was able to break them down and knock them out. You made the motion after the win. You want a shot at that title. What's your message for Kel Brook, the current title holder? Come on, you know, his manager said that I, that I um, didn't want to fight him, so come on, he can drop out of the Triple G fight and fight me right now. All right, over your right shoulder is your dad. He brought you to a gym when you were 12. You hated it in Texas. He made you stick with it. What's your message for dad for making you stick with it? I'd like to thank him and tell him I'm bringing the world title home. All right, so let's talk about that world title. When do you want a shot? at Kell Brook, or whomever that challenger may be. I'm going to shout out uh, at Kell Brook as soon as he's done with Triple G. Um, you know, if he's not going to fight me, then he needs to vacate, and I'll fight somebody else. But I definitely want that IBF title shot this year. All right, let's take a look at the video. In the sixth round, when this thing turned, describe your two knockdowns and what happened. Um, I seen he was hurt. I seen he was hurt the first time when he dropped his mouthpiece. And then when I hit him again, I seen he was wobbling and his eyes kind of rolled it back his head. And that's when I jumped on him and went for the kill. And here you get another shot, and it was good night. Talk about that. Oh, that's great. That's what you want. That's what I look for. You know, my slogan is man down. You know, that's, that's what I try to do every time I come to the ring. This has been a unique venue and a very partisan crowd. You have a lot of friends and family here. What did that support mean? It support mean a lot. Um, you know, I didn't think everybody was going to come out like this, but they came out and they supported me, and I love them. And I'd like to thank everybody on NBC for tuning in and, you know, uh, using their valuable time to watch me fight. And everybody from New York that came out and people from Texas that came out, you know, to support me. I love it. Thank you. Errol, the truth, Spence remains undefeated. He'll get that welterweight world title shot. He remains undefeated after knocking out Leonard the Lion Boot.